Moin, liebe Brettsportfreunde. Wir Moin. Sind <lacht> Wir sind hier in Kapstadt am schönen Tafelberg. Ähm, beim Now you can see it. <lacht> Steven, you're affiliated for, with CORE for quite some time now and uh, what makes CORE so special? What uh, made you choose CORE and that you're with them for quite such a long time? I, I started writing CORE about, I would say almost 10 years ago because a really good friend of mine was importing CORE into the Netherlands and he had a surf shop in the Netherlands and Yeah, he tried to get me on core. I wasn't really uh, convinced, let's say, in the beginning, but then they brought out the sensor bar and I really enjoyed the bar and it was a good friend of mine. So, yeah, we did each other a favor. I started writing core and through the time, I just started enjoying it so much how, how good the gear is. Like over 10 years, I had one leading edge pop on me, but that wasn't even a full leading edge that broke. It was just one little seam. So I'm, I'm just super happy about the, the, the performance of the kites, first of all. They're very nice riding kites. The quality, they'll last you long. And afterwards, if you resell, it's, they keep their value very long. So overall, yeah, okay. I have no reason to change. So and Core is a nice family as well with all you riders and people in Feyman yeah. treating you well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, right now we're also here with the entire crew and then the Kitesurf, Kitesurf Masters in St. Peter Ording. You'll see all of us there and it's like one big family. Like, I really enjoy the vibe that we have between all of us and it definitely makes it easier to stay with a brand and it makes it very hard to leave. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, are you uh, still competing? No, I'm officially retired yeah. from competition. <laughs> so age is kicking in. Yeah. Age is kicking in, or my brain is starting to really kick up. Okay, so now that you're retired, and uh, just a very hypothetical question, um, let's say surfing will be forbidden from tomorrow onwards, and you have one last session in perfect conditions, and you could choose wherever that is, with whoever that is, and whatever you want to do, what would you choose? That's not an easy one. Um, okay, right, so tiring as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I would probably go for a session in Mauritius on one eye with my strapless surfboard, together with my girlfriend who's really into wave riding, Willow, and some of the other core team riders that are yeah shredding in the waves and just have a super cool private session there. Like that would probably be my. My last your session. Exit, your exit My, strategy. The, the exit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Nice. And can you remember, like, uh, in your, well, not in your career, but in your um, way as a rider, when was the point or what was the session where you really said, okay, I have to do that for all my life. This is my thing. What was the thing that. Oh. Oh, that goes really long. That goes yeah, a really long matter. way back. Yeah, but what um, like your first meters on the water? That, that was probably the, the first time I got four fins out of the water with a jump that I wanted to jump. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that will be, yeah, 16 years ago now when I first started jumping that I was like, wow, this is so cool. I'm going so high. I think I got that high yeah. out of the water, but it just gave me such a kick and such a thrill. And that's still something I'm... I'm, I'm searching for it. Like every time I go out for a session, I search for that same thrill. It's not always as good, but uh, definitely trying to get there again. So your first session definitely wasn't an XR? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a full on sea kite. It was uh, not horrible for lessons, that's for sure. Um, just a few hypothetical questions for you. So um, imagine Surfing, like because you're a surfer as well, and kiting and winging would be forbidden from tomorrow. <laughs> what would be your last session? Where? With whom? And what would you do? I think uh, that would be a tricky one because I obviously love surfing, I love kiting, and I love wing foiling. Probably it would have to be all three in one day. <laughs> no, but I think I'd probably have to choose. Uh, probably kiting on one eye in Mauritius, just it's one of the best waves in the world, it's where I've gr grown up and you know going out there with together with Steven, Josh and my best friend Taylor, you know having the whole crew there like we used to have years ago is just 
you know, such an insane feeling when you're out there, you're pushing each other, getting barreled and doing, getting huge waves. So I think that would probably be, hands down, the best last session that I could possibly imagine. So you're basically a massive family here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll be, I'll, I'll be there with you, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So with them, out on the, the water, band. exactly, uh, the charging band. out yeah. there and, and pushing the sport. And can you remember, like, uh, the first time in, not in your career, but more like in your uh, um, career as a rider, uh, where you thought, okay, I have to do this for all my life, I have to become a professional, this is my thing. I can remember it as clear as anything. So when I, was, when I started um, surfing, I was around 10 years old, and my dream was to be a professional surfer. That's all I did. I never went to, I was homeschooled, so I didn't have to go to school. So I spent every single day on the water surfing, and I was like, fo like, completely focused, I'm going to be a professional surfer. And then kite surfing came around and you know I started getting into it and then I realized Mauritius is one of the best spots in the world and thousands of people travel just to go there to kite surf. So obviously I got into it more and more and you know after I think nine months of kiting I met some of the guys from CORE, Thomas Borbley is the photographer and since then my complete life changed and went full on into into kiting as a, as a career and as a yeah basically a job and passion combined and uh, yeah so I can completely completely it's like so clear in my head you know I always wanted to become a professional in either surfing or kiting and it ended up happening so yeah it's a living dream and you can clearly see the passion with you it's a pleasure thank, <laughs> thank you, you so much eh? thank you guys thanks guys and uh, hopefully see you in Germany somewhere around and I, I need to come visit you guys at uh, your place and uh, maybe see you somewhere around Germany thanks a lot,